You have to see this just to believe how big this is. Bigger than a jumbo jet, tick. Wider than an airship, tick again. This is the biggest aircraft in the world, and it's called an airlander. But who would want one of these? Some of our markets will not be aerospace markets. Others will be those parts of the aerospace market where the current aircraft do a good job, but not quite specialised enough. So we will take this aircraft into remote places, places where there are no runways. Now, right now, you might be able to get there with a helicopter, but it's hard. Four engines and enough helium to fill 15 Olympic pools means it can take off. The US Army ran out of money when developing this British machine. So the inventors, still believing in its potential, bought it back. It's a combination of plane, airship and helicopter, and its designers claim it can fly for up to two weeks. They also say it can fly at 90 miles an hour. It's 92 metres long. That's 15 metres longer than the biggest passenger jet. It can land on water, on ice and in the desert. It can also reach 20,000 feet. When the R101 airship was built here almost 100 years ago, it was thought a new age of air travel was around the corner. Hydrogen and the Hindenburg disaster in 1937 ended that. Non-flammable helium fills the airlander today. It's exactly like a normal aircraft, this is what you see. And the man who gets to fly is excited by what it can do. I'm excited because I think this is something that mankind really needs. I think it's something that's got a great future. And they, uh, apart from that, a lot of people have a lot of pleasure flying, either flying it or flying in it. The company hoped to be building 12 of these a year by 2018. You'll need £25 million if you want to buy one and be at the forefront of British aviation. Warren Nettleford, 5 News.